Twyla, in a recent release, I just looked at it this morning, came out from Citizens Council for Health Freedom. That's the organization that you lead. You said this in it, quote, as the coronavirus continues to sweep across the nation, we, your organization, are calling on all federal, state, and local officials to avoid coercive tactics and to focus instead on providing accurate and transparent information to encourage public cooperation in examination, testing, treatment, and, when available, vaccination, end quote. And the importance, I think, when I noted that, of encouraging voluntary cooperation and providing accurate and transparent information, to me, Twyla, is key in a free society as unlike communist China, who scrubs all of the communications and actually imprisons citizens and experts who report the truth. So I want to ask you right now, you sent out this press alert with this key message. Do you believe that how the Trump administration, as an example, if put in practical terms, is dealing with this pandemic? Are they doing what you are recommending? Are we getting the truth? Are we seeing transparency? Well, I think that they, you know, there are regular uh, details that come out. The president is coming out and talking himself about everything that his administration is doing, about what he knows the CDC is doing. There are regular updates. So I think to the degree that they uh, can, I think that that is happening. I think things are so fluid and so in flux and so changing. And there are still some political machinations where people are trying to accuse the uh, president and his administration rather than trying to pull the entire country together. I think that does make it a little bit difficult. Um, I will say that we put out a video uh, yesterday on our Facebook page that's um, gotten lots and lots of views, more than a 1,000 views, about just trying to tell people what their rights are and what government health powers are and to give them that kind of information. Because it's so important that people know what their rights are and it's so important that government does not overreach their powers and uses cooperation. Because as soon as the government becomes the big bully in the room, (laughs) as soon as that happens, all sorts of people are going to refuse to listen. They're going to go to their own places. And so I I think, you know, this is a time for the nation to work together, and it's a time to make sure that the government does not overreach and, and drive the public away into their own devices.